everyone. We are back with Glenn Velvet Reviews today. And uh, I want to get this installed, the check valve uh, that you saw. I got this unboxed uh, from uh, Bulk Reef Supply. So we're going to install this, but I just want to show you what I found out, which is a little weird. All right, so the flow is supposed to go up, right? So say this is like this. Uh, I saw this in a lot of people's videos where this was like close to the top of the tank. Uh, so say this would be, you know, only a few inches from your water flow, uh, you know, six inches. That's not even that much. I don't have anything that's even six inches. Oh, yeah, I do. All right, so I added, uh, I added a little piece on here to simulate, you know, it coming right out of the someone's tank. So, uh, so this would simulate it being there. So anyway, say this is like this. So I poured some water in here to, like, test out this valve. And what I notice is the valve doesn't stop leaking, see? So, I mean, my plan, you know, my plan is to set up the tank to be able to be away from it for like a week or two if I go on a cruise. Um, so I see this dripping and it doesn't stop dripping. This actually all empties out. So the only thing I don't get, right, if I'm on vacation away for two weeks and say something happens and the pump stops pumping, the uh and, and water is coming out still it's still gonna drip isn't it because look it keeps it doesn't stop dripping so what i noticed uh is that this will drip and it'll drain out eventually you know in the next like 15 you know minute not even 10 minutes it'll probably drain all the way out right here so if you have your return in like four inches below the surface you're going to get four inches of your water uh you know into your sump and if that's a really big fish tank 120 gallons the surface area of four inches is a lot of gallons going into your sump uh if you're on vacation just to show you so that was kind of like a little um i was like oh i didn't even really notice that or whatever the case so let me show you pretty much kind of what i found out here uh so i made a little contraption just to show you what's up view of this i don't know if all of them do this uh they probably only do this because these don't have springs in them the ones with springs I, since it always has pressure, probably doesn't do this uh, from what I've seen, at least the one on my sump pump. Uh, so it probably just could be this, but you need to use this for a saltwater fish tank. You don't have any options. You can't put metal in there. So pretty much this is your only option anyway to have no metal. So I'm just showing you there's a very limited options for ones that are strictly made for the saltwater industry. Um, so I put a two foot piece right here. This is, a, you know, another two foot together roughly and then whatever. It's only about a, a four feet of pipe, maybe four and a half feet. So I just want to show you the difference of when I put that here, uh, having all that back pressure uh, going on this really like completely stops the water from dripping. So say I'm on vacation for a week and it happens on the second day, I don't have to worry about all four inches of the first, um, you know, yes, I guess you can, you can have your returns higher so you'll only probably lose i don't know you know maybe two inches or something like that but if you're if you have the same setup as me at least i'm just going by what i'm going to have my returns are going to be a couple of inches in there and that's just the way it is and i'm going to aim the uh you know the jets down so i have flow so i mean there's probably other setups good for you i'm just showing you mine all right so i'm going to stick this on this away and I mean, if it drips out of here, that doesn't count, obviously. So whatever, I'm just gonna fill up the pipe and let's see how much water does come out of there, right? So right now I have what, a full two cups? No, not really. I have what, like a, a cup and a half, I'm sorry. I have like a cup and a half in there. So I'm gonna put another half cup of water. Let me show you, see what's up. There's nothing coming out of there. So there was like an initial one or two drips while the water flowed in there. Uh, but now it's not dripping anymore at all. So uh, I just wanna show you that if you put your um, this valve real close to your pump, it is going to actually work the way it's supposed to and not flood your uh sump or do anything bad while you're on vacation for two weeks um and even if it does say it does hypothetically it is dripping right now it's dripping every like one every 10 minutes where before you saw it was dripping once every what second that's a very big difference if you're going to be away from the tank uh, i'm going to have some like i said i'm going to have someone here feeding them but 
they don't know about fish tanks to be looking and fixing problems like I do. So I can't have expectations while I'm on vacation. So obviously it's dripping from other parts right now because nothing's glued. But I just wanted to show you guys because uh, I've seen a lot of people put this valve really close to the top of the fish tank. And you saw it still drips, so it, it's not really doing anything. And I know I'm, I thought that maybe on the bottom it'll be pulling, you know, a vacuum and pulling it down. But it, yeah, maybe it'll be pulling it down. But there's still no shutoff between that and the pump. So the pump doesn't shut off. So water still drips out. You know what I mean? So even if the vacuum is there, maybe that'll give you an extra hour. Maybe a couple, maybe two hours, three hours. I don't know. But it's not going to give you an extra couple of days. That's what I'm saying. So it doesn't really matter. So uh, that's it for Glen Velvet Reviews. I just want to show you what's up with that and positioning that properly. And you should really have... Um, I, found, I put a two foot pipe on it and it really like stopped it really good. So you only need about two foot, but to only have four to six inches on this and then it go into your tank. I mean, I don't know. I think you're gonna lose water. And like I said, you're only gonna lose those couple of inches, but I'm just, I'm just letting you know that I saw it does so much more down here of what it's supposed to do of stopping the water. So that's it for Glen Velvet Reviews. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. I would love to know. Also subscribe to my channel. Join me on my review adventures as I try to put up stuff to help out the community, just like I get help from the community. All right, everybody enjoy. Be safe. I'm out. Bye-bye.